Hello and welcome to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is a 20 minute full body HIIT workout. You don't need any equipment, just a mat if you've got one. And what we're gonna to aim to do is work really hard and intense for 40 seconds on each exercise, then take a short 20 second rest and we're gonna work for 20 minutes. So it's 10 exercises, two rounds. Um, the first exercise is gonna be a squat. So I'll demonstrate the technique just to make sure we're getting it right. So we're gonna have a nice straight back. We're gonna sit down, imagine there's a chair behind us. We're sitting down into that imaginary chair keeping our heels flat on the ground and driving up into that standing position. So squeeze the quads and the glutes. One thing you wanna work, work, um, avoid is knees buckling in. So if you find that your knees are coming in, really try and drive them out. So drive the knees out if you can. And if your heels are coming off the ground like this, like when you're squatting, maybe you've got to turn your feet out a little bit wider just to keep your feet flat on the ground because you wanna try and sit into the heels of your feet and drive through there. That's our first move, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. If it feels too difficult, you could always stop and do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, but the timer is gonna go at 40 and 20. Here we go, so squats to begin with, let's go. Take your time as well, it's not a race. So we're squatting down low, standing up tall, squeeze the quad, squeeze the glutes, and the aim here is technique. So good form, good control. We're not trying to drop down too fast. This is our first move as well. We're gonna sort of build things up as we go through. So sitting down into those heels straight back, drive through the feet, stand up tall. Excellent, right, we've got 15 seconds to go. Next exercise, we're gonna go down on the ground for a plank, kind of plank sort of variation. I'll give you two options, so you can have an easier one and a harder one. Okay, last few seconds, squat down and rest. Right, so that's warming the legs up. So two options, you can just hold a plank. So if you want to, just hold this position here. Yes, yeah, so it's a nice static plank, keeping those abs engaged. If you wanna make it tougher, we're going to move along the mat. So you're going to move like this, just walking the hands in that plank position to the left of the mat and then to the right. So either a static plank or lateral walks. Let's go. So we're walking along if you can, just keeping that bum down. We're not trying to keep our that bum up in the air. We want to keep it engaged. It's really just a core plank, walk, plank, walk. Good. So you're going to feel that in your shoulders, your chest and triceps having to work. But really, this is a core exercise. So keeping those abs tight, excellent. We're gonna be up on our feet after this one for a slight variation on the squat. We're gonna do some sumo squats, so wider stance squats. Ah, okay, five seconds. Walk along, keep the abs tight, engage those muscles in your abs, and relax. So, obviously shoulders got a little cook in there, but that's really about bracing your core, your abs, strengthen that area. So next exercise. Um, so a sumo squat, obviously we can do narrow squats, parallel, but you can also go wide. So imagine like a sumo, wide stance, feet turned out. Same thing, driving the knees out, sit down nice and low, and stand up tall, that's it. So again, slow reps. It's just hitting the legs in a slightly different angle. Still working the thighs, and we're trying to get low into that deep squat position. If that's too hard, and you've got the hip mobility, just go a little bit shallower, so sort of same thing, it's not as low. Build up to that. And again, I'm trying to really keep those knees, like drive the knees back, so you're opening up the hips. We're not trying to let those knees cave in, right? So drive the knees out. Okay, next exercise is gonna be on the ground again. We're gonna be doing a high plank variation again. This time we're gonna be, ah, we're gonna be sort of trying to go off balance. So again, beginners, if you're not super strong in this position, you can just hold another high plank, right? Just get used to holding that. And again, it's not up here like that. We don't want to be dipping our back. Hold there. If you want to make it tougher, you're going to go knee, knee, tap, tap. Off you go. So it's knee, knee, tap, tap. There's no rocking. Knee, knee, tap, tap. If not, just hold this static plank. Again, squeeze the abs. Don't let the back dip. Don't bring the bum up. You think about that, your, your back's like a coffee table. You're just completely flat and squeeze and brace the abs. So it's knee, knee, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, knee, knee, tap. Good, again, this is really strengthening your core. This is bracing all those muscles now in your abdomen, your obliques are having to work a little bit and rest. Ooh, so. Next exercise, we're gonna be up on our feet. So we're gonna go a little bit more, a bit more dynamic now. So what we're gonna try and do is, fingertips hit the floor like this, 
and we're going to jump one, two, three if you can. So three jumps, shuffle back, three big jumps forward if you can. Let's go. One, two, three. Good, shuffle back, finger to the floor. One, two, three. Shuffle back. If you can't do the big jumps, just touch, step forward, touch, step forward. Same thing, just get those fingertips down. So really use those as a marker. We're trying to get the finger to the floor. Straight arms. Ah. Shuffle back. 15 seconds. Nice big hops. Fingers to the floor. Ah. Last one. Last few seconds. One, two, three. Ah. So you see, that's a bit more explosive, a bit more dynamic. If that's too tough, again, just adapt it. You can do another set of basic squats if you need to, or a squat hold, or just miss that one out. Right, next up we're gonna go for mountain climb a crossover. So, high plank position. Now, I'm gonna try and bring my knee across the body like this. Off you go, so slow. So the knee comes across. If that's too hard again, just focus on holding this. Hold the plank, build the strength in your shoulders if you can. Knee comes across the body. Try and hit those elbows. They're sort of like coming across and through. So you'll feel that right through the side in your obliques. So again, control it, holding the plank. Knee comes through and across to the elbow. So opposite knee to opposite elbow. So next one's a really good core exercise. We're gonna be on the mat for this one. Four seconds. Three, two, and one. Excellent, remember any of these moves, if they feel too tough, if you haven't got the stability, Scale it back or skip it. Don't feel bad if you can't complete it. This is about you adjusting things, right? This is another one. We're gonna go left side now. Beginners, like this. Work on your obliques. More advanced, we go 20 seconds on the left, 20 on the right, so lifting up. So a nice straight line between the feet and the shoulders. Elbow under the shoulder. And then this arm comes up. So hold this. Then we're gonna rotate. At 20 seconds, we're gonna rotate straight round. So really trying to lift your hips off the ground. Hold it, three, two, one. So we rotate, same thing. So we're trying to lift this hip off the ground, working your obliques here. Hold, hold yourself up if you can for 20 seconds. Ah, good, lift and hold. Hold it. Hold to the bell, lift up again. And rest. Oh. Yeah, that's a tough move, it really works your the side of your obliques here. So if that's too hard, just stand the knees to that one. Okay, next up, we've got a half burpee into two lunges. So basically what that means is, we're gonna put our hands on the ground, kick out, come up, and then do two lunges. Off we go, so hands on the ground, kick out, stand up, reverse lunge, reverse lunge and repeat. So hands on the ground, kick into the plank, stand up, reverse lunge, Good, and just repeat that. So go at your own pace. Stand up tall, and then you do two controlled reverse lunges. Again, so kick out, stand up. Nice big step backwards. 10 seconds on the clock. And make sure when you kick into that plank, you're not letting your back arch, you're kicking into a, like a really strong plank. So just from this position here, that you're, you're there for a second, you're not, Dropping down like this. So you're almost jumping into a plank. And then you stand up. Okay, next up. Woo! Push-ups. So down on the ground. Options obviously full push-ups if you can. If not, it's knees on the ground. Elbows come. And you press up so elbows come out. And then you push yourself up. It's better to do them from your knees and have a good depth and real range. And to be up here like this doing this, so really go easy, yeah, but just make sure you're getting the depth in the chest, so chest press, chest the floor if you can, push those arms up, if you're not going right down it's fine, you'll get there eventually, you'll get the strength, you might just be doing like a half rep, but the chest to floor is the full range, and then straight arms, chest to floor, press, last few reps, come on, I know they're tough, they get easier though, they get easier, the more sets you do, that chest tricep strength is going to come and, in, and before you know it, if you keep coming back and doing it, you will be doing full push-ups, trust me. Right, this is number 10, so sprint. 
simple sprint on the spot 40 seconds then we go straight back through for the second round okay so let's try and get our heart rate up it's been a bit low let's try and raise it come on in so 40 seconds of a sprint then we go back round into the squats all right come on it's a short workout so i want as much effort per exercise as possible beautiful day here well a bit cloudy but it's, it's warm okay 20 seconds knees up come on get a sweat on can you maintain that speed or can you go quicker okay, let's go okay 10 second push come on heart rate get it up heart rate up high five four three two and one all right that's good well done round one complete that's got my heart rate up so we're going into second round now same moves 40 on 20 off okay so squats again if we make it tougher you could do some squat jumps but i'm just going to stay with the squats for now so low drive up that's it good drive through the hills that's it drive those knees out as well so drive knees out stand almost there 20 seconds then we've got those planks the static plank or the lateral plank walk so you walk left to right remember it's not about competing with me it's about doing what you're comfortable with and using your strength as a marker and something to work towards three seconds so rather you do the easier option with good form than the harder version with bad form and you know you're all over the shop your back's dipped you're not you're working your core so if you can just hold this plank there that in itself is a challenge because your shoulders are working your abs are engaged and then brace all this if you want to make it tougher you can walk left to right but again you're staying in that strong plank that's the foundation that's the base don't walk until you've got the strong core and the planks locked rock solid and locked in so i'm walking little walks with the hands little walks with the feet and i'm keeping my all the way through that i'm tightening my abs i'm squeezing them okay last last 10 seconds on this then we're up on our feet for the sumo squats it's a short workout 20 minutes goes quick really quick and relax but it goes quick so it's also effective you know this is a short short session but we're not having a lot of rest so we're getting quite a lot of effort quite a lot of work done in, the, in a short period of time and obviously if you wanted to make it tougher you could hold a dumbbell when we do the squats and things you could increase the resistance so you can always make things harder just by adding a little bit of resistance okay sumo squats so I want to do with these slow them down slow pause at the bottom and up so pause at the bottom and come squeeze at the top pause and squeeze squeeze the quads tense your glutes we're going to go down after this one into those plank plank with a knee drive and then the shoulder tap if you can if not it's just another plank ah. drive the knees out push those knees behind you like imagine they're going right back drive them back feet are flat on the ground push through the heels of the feet not the balls oh. right excellent we're doing well we're getting there next up is those planks again it's a really good exercise just to, just to get used to this strength work because this is where you, you know your press up starts here so look your press up starts there your mountain climb will start there hold that if you can if not it's knee knee tap tap let's go knee knee tap tap knee knee tap and i'm not wrong i'm not rocking either so when i lift the hand up your body wants to sort of rotate and twist but try not to try not to get any rotation knee knee shoulder tap shoulder tap so you want to brace your core from rocking your left to right so that that off balances you a bit that's why it's a bit harder it's a bit more advanced knee knee tap tap knee knee tap tap good knee knee tap knee knee and rest oh right we're going for that explosive exercise now so it's the broad jumps or the frog jumps if you want to go a bit further if you've got if you've got space through four or five 
do four or five, yeah? If not, just do three, but you can obviously go one, two, do as many as you can, shuffle back, repeat that, bending the legs, get the legs working. Come on, let's get strong. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm getting four in, four jumps. One, fingers to the floor. Two, three, four, good. A little shuffle back, nice and quick. One, two, three, four. Ah. And again. One, two, three, four. Shuffle back. 10 seconds left. One, two, three. Ah, ah, it burns. Ah, right, next exercise is the mountain climbers with the crossover. So again, it's a slow exercise. It's not like a fast mountain climb. You're not trying to go like this for speed. It's actually from there, lock it out. To so try and sort of bring your knee it's so much harder. Let's go, bring your knee across the body. Try and get that knee to touch the elbow if you can. But really bring it through. Feel your obliques working. That's hard. If it's too hard, just hold a plank. I find this hard. This is much harder than a normal mountain climber. Right, let's go abs. Left to right. Elbow comes across. So knee comes across to the opposite elbow. Can you get the knee to touch the elbow? That's the challenge. Five seconds, I'm gonna go onto those side planks. Ah. Uh, uh. So that already was really working here. So now we're gonna go like a bit of a superset, straight back into that move. Left elbow on the ground. So again, beginner version is like from the knees, still really working that. So lift and hold, push your hips off the ground like you're pulling a string here. If you can, full body off the ground, let's go. Oh, right, lift and hold. Come on, almost there now. We've only got three more moves after this. So lift and hold. And we rotate at 20 seconds. When you think you're high enough, like go one more inch up. Four, three, two, one, roll over. And we go. Same thing. The right elbow's on the ground now. The elbow's underneath the shoulder. This is going to start to drop. Really fight against that and lift it up. Lift yourself up. Come on, lift that hip off the ground. Hold it. Hold it. Ah. And rest. Oh. Right, three more moves and we've completed a, a 20 minute hit workout. I knew it would be quick, good little session, heart rate's up, we're building some strength, we're burning some calories, we're making progress, so thank you for choosing to train with me. Right, so half burpee, kick out, stand up tall and then you step back. One, two, hands on the ground, kick out, stand up tall, reload, Reset, two lunges, and again. Good, straight back when you come up. Stand up really nice and tall. Kick the feet out into the plank. Jump forward, stand up. One, two, 15 seconds. So we're gonna go down for our final set of push-ups. Let's do one more burpee. Do half burpee. Stand up, last two lunges. Lunge, lunge. Oh. Right, push-ups, they are tough. It's demoralizing when you can't do them at first, but you have to keep coming back to them because the only way you get better at them is doing more. So if you're finding it too hard to do 40 seconds, do 10 seconds, have a rest. 10 seconds, have a rest, right? So the key here is to bring all your weight forward. So try not just to bend your arms like this, but bring your weight forward onto your chest. So load the weight onto your chest and triceps, okay? And this is, this is one of those things people say, oh, you know, what exercises can help me more with press-ups? Well, Press-ups are going to help you get good at press-ups, so you're having to work your chest, your shoulders a little bit, and your triceps, and you just get stronger. The more reps you do, more reps, more volume. <sighs> Obviously, if you can and you've got the strength, go for the full push-ups, but don't do them if you're only doing half reps and your back's dipped. Only do them if you've got that strong core to push up in one straight line. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Right, there we go, push up, done. Last exercise is the sprint. So again, the heart rate's dropped a little bit. This last one, 
try and ramp it up as high as it can possibly go. So sprint on the spot for 40 seconds. You ready? Let's go. Come on, let's push. Come on. Use those arms as well. So pump the arms. Let's go. Knees up a little bit. And go for the speed. This is it. Last 30 seconds. We're done for the day. Come on. Body Coach TV. Hit workout. Complete. Think about how much better you feel as well at the end of this. 20 seconds. Come on. Knees up. 15. Fast finish. Ah. Okay, 10 seconds. Quicker, come on. Push it up. Fast for five, four, three, two, one, four. That's a winner. Probably thinking, is that enough? Is 20 minutes enough? Trust me, when you train like that, very little rest, as much as you can in that time frame, it is enough. 20 minutes a day is enough. And hopefully you feel happier, you feel calmer, if you were stressed or a bit frustrated or angry before, you should usually release all that, ex all that energy and you're in a happier, more positive place. So that's the thing that's gonna keep you coming back. Tap into that mindset of how you feel at the end of it. Thank you so much for training me on the Body Coach TV. If you want more workouts and a structured plan and tailored recipes to really help your body burn fat and build muscle, check out the Body Coach app on Android and iPhone iOS. It's changing thousands of people's lives every day and I hope you enjoy it. If you wanna check it out, you can do a three week trial. So lots of love wherever you're in the world and I'll see you soon either here on the Body Coach TV or over on the Body Coach app for a workout. See you soon.